we don't live in a world anymore where you have to go to this platform for this type of content and this platform for this type of content. Instead, it's about the app that everyone's on making that express all forms of content instead. So you can go to Instagram now for links to outside things. You can go to Instagram for your videos, for short form videos like Reels, for stories, um, which is the new Snapchat. So everybody's kind of becoming a conglomerate of all these types of content um, as opposed to people being so specialized, right? Yeah, definitely. The one thing though that I'm seeing is like people there, it's a kind of like two sides of the coin. Like some people love that and some people hate that. And a lot of like the people that are not for it are saying, you know, I came here for photo. I don't want all of those other pieces in it, like to have all of these different options. And then the other side of it is obviously what we like having all of the options in one place. So it's interesting to see how this push is going to even affect that more so because they're going to be prioritizing video content. They're going to um, push that in your feed. And actually what they even said as well is the um, Instagram reels. Like even if you're not following someone, you're still going to see their reels in your feed because it's another way for people to find you now. And they're like, again, trying to push that. So it could be a really awesome thing because you can grow because people that aren't following you are going to see these videos but it's only awesome if you are making the videos. Right, and I mean, at the end of the day, that's what it always comes back to is the basic advice we give to everyone, which is like, you need to be creating content. Like mm -hmm. if you're not creating content, you're missing out on the biggest opportunity we maybe have ever seen in the world to grow a small business.